Hey everybody, it is me, Vincent, coming to you from Disney's Hollywood Studios because, well, you know what? Sometimes you just need a Hollywood Studios day. So we are here to try some new food at Docking Bay 7. We're going to try and get on Rise of the Resistance, and I'm just going to spend some time at my favorite Walt Disney World Park. So welcome to the latest episode of Vincent Vision. Watcha! <laughs> Hey everybody, it's me, Vincent, coming to you from Disney's Hollywood Studios. I'm so happy to be here. I haven't been here in quite a minute. And you know what else I haven't done? I haven't uh, tried to get on Rides of the Resistance in quite a minute as well. So that is exactly what we're gonna do. That is the first thing that is gonna happen in this video. It is 12.53, it is showtime, ladies and germs. I've come to what I believe is sort of my lucky spot. This is kind of like the street over here, right by Beauty and the Beast, or what used to be Beauty and the Beast. I don't even know if they're doing the show anymore. I've got my spot over here. I've got my phone ready to get a boarding group for Rise of the Resistance. We are starting this video off with a 1 p.m. boarding group time. I'm gonna put like me and then like a screen recording in my phone so you can see what it looks like, kind of how I scurry through the app to try and get a boarding group. I've been pretty successful. I've never ever not gotten a boarding group. I'm trying to prepare myself for when I go to California Adventure and need to get one for Spider-Man. <laughs> All right. Here we go. All right, we're pulling, we're pulling, we're pulling. Okay, this is bad. Oh, this is bad. Oh, I don't think I made it. Yes. I don't think I made it. This is taking too long. Oh. Woo. Okay. We got something. We got something. We got boarding group 132. Yes. <laughs> Okay, we're good. I mean, we got one, right? We got one. Whew. You know what? Let me say, I'm happy I have one. If it says 132, estimated time, 285 minutes. That is a little over four hours. So I've got a lot of time to kill, but I have my fingers. I gotta be faster than that, man. If I'm going to California Adventure and I'm gonna try to do Web Slingers and Ride the Resistance over there, I gotta be faster than that. But I'm happy I've got one. Let's just enjoy the day now that we have it. Well, I haven't seen this yet, but it's Chip and Dale hanging out in this little field over here. They got a picnic set up with some big old acorns right behind them, if you see. That is uh, uh, Dale, because he's got the dark red nose, and that one is Chip over there and entertaining people down that way. I wanted to go to Docking Bay 7, which is the quick service location in Galaxy's Edge. They have a new menu, some new items have been added, and they've also changed some things which I'm very, very upset about. They changed my salad, which I loved. The Indorian chicken salad was my favorite. I loved it, it was a perfect combination of everything, and now it's like this weird mishmash of like radishes and all this extra stuff added to it. It's not as great, so I am not gonna be getting the salad that I always get when I go. Instead, I'm gonna get some spicy chicken that they added. So we're gonna head over to Batu through Toy Story Land and uh, eat. Long time no see, Galaxy's Edge. Man, I have not been here for a while. Seriously, the last time I was here was May the 4th, which was a great video, by the way. You should watch that because it's a lot of fun. But now I'm back because it's my favorite land in all of Disney World and just walking around, I love being here. You know, I can't help but wonder how long the line for Millennium Falcon would actually be if people could get in line for Rise of the Resistance. How long all the lines in this park would be, right? This is what we're eating today from Docking Bay 7. This is the Perginod Hot Chicken Tip. Yep, this is glazed chicken cubes. This is like a corn relish they've got here with some rice. It's supposed to be like a spicy chipotle sauce, which is great because I love spicy chicken. Honestly, it's pretty good. I don't. I didn't think I was gonna like it very much, but the chicken is great. Whatever sauce they have on it is actually kind of spicy, which like whenever I get spicy stuff from theme parks, I don't expect it to be spicy at all. This does have like a little bit of a tingle to it, which is really, really nice. And the relish mixed in, it's all great. So like this spicy chicken dish is actually really, really good. And I think this is a worthy replacement 
to what used to be my favorite salad here at Disney World. They completely butchered it. It's like this whole completely different thing now. This menu that they've added, they've added, I think, like some beef stir fry as well, some tuna poke. There's some stuff over at Ronto Roasters as well that they've added that's really different. They have like a like a plant-based wrap over there now you can get. This is pretty good. These are all actually, this is really, really great. So I'm glad I ordered this and I would definitely recommend getting the spicy chicken if you're here at Docking Bay 7 and you want a little bit of some spicy food. I'm here in the marketplace, which I love. You don't have to queue up to get in here anymore now that they've kind of changed all the social distancing rules and stuff like that, which is great because the marketplace is so fun to just walk around and look in all the different stores. So that is exactly what we're gonna do. My favorite store here definitely has to be the Toy Dairy and Toy Maker store. I just love these dolls. I think they're so cool. Got some really cute plushes here and they still got some baby Grogu plushes that you can get here. And I love how they're themed to the in-universe of Galaxy's Edge. You know, they feel really authentic like they were made from someone in Batuu. Got some new toys. I haven't seen this Jar Jar Binks before and honestly, it's kind of cute. All I'm saying is I got my Jar Jar Binks shirt on. I got this cute little Jar Jar Binks doll. I might just bring this home with me because this is actually really kind of cute. <laughs> they also have like these little little fun desk accessories like this wooden owl creature, which I'll admit I've actually never seen before. I'm going to assume it's from like Rebels or one of the animated shows. They have a giant Jawa sand crawler over here. Very, very cool. These are great little things you can put up on your desk. You know, you got Kylo Ren, you got Boba Fett, pose these. I, uh, I feel like I, I want to buy all of these. I have this wooden Millennium Falcon at home. It's great. They got the dice back. These are really, really hard to get. They don't have these all the time. And when they're gone, they're gone for quite a while. These are perfect for hanging in your car. All right, so I've done some eating. I've done some perusing of the stores here at Galaxy's Edge. Why am I zooming in? I pressed the wrong button. There we go, that's a lot better. We're gonna go check out Millennium Falcon Smuggler's Run. They just opened up their single riders line. It is an option now, so we're gonna go inside and see how that goes. We do have some time to kill. I've still got like 200 minutes until I gotta show up for my Rise of the Resistance boarding group. All right, I just came from here and now I could either go this way or this way. Let's go this way. Let's see how long it takes to get on to the ride. <laughs> All right, that's great, we made it. The ride is pretty much right here. Awesome. Oh my gosh. Woo. That's a good thing I'm here. Yes, Joey will pilot us in remote. Retrieve one container of Coaxia. This would greatly help the resistance. You have heard the first order and made Chewy proud. Ooh, that was the best modest profit. Hey, everybody, it's me, Vincent, coming to you from Oka's Cantina. This is so random. I was literally walking by and I said, you know what? I'm just going to go to the front and ask if one person can get in. And one person was able to get in. They have increased the capacity of Oga's, so now there's better chances to get a spot here at the bar. Bright Suns. Bright Suns. Hey. Since it's been quite a minute since I was last here at Oga's, I just had to keep it simple. I got myself the Fuzzy Tauntaun classic drink they have here with the foam that makes your lips tingle. You know, the perfect spacey beverage. Run out of power. Oh boy. What a success. What a successful little romp we've had here at Galaxy's Edge. We walked right on to Millennium Falcon. We saw some toys. We got into Cantina. We got into Oka's Cantina, baby. This is great. This is great. We're going to come back for Rise of the Resistance. We're going to get on out of here. I want to ride Tower of Terror. We're going to head in that direction. Look at these plants. Love these giant pots. Look at this. That's great. Well, this is one, uh, this is one fuzzy tauntaun, folks. <laughs> All right, we made it to the Tower of Terror. I am so excited to go on this ride, and it is at a 40 minute wait right now, which is not bad. Uh, whoa. 
this is uh, <laughs> quite a, an extended queue for 40 minutes. But uh, I guess we got to do it, huh? We made it in to the hotel lobby and it took only 36 minutes. And what's cool is we're actually getting the pre-show. I haven't seen this in a very long time. Your elevator will be here momentarily to take you to your rooms. Once it arrives and you are fully seated inside your elevator, you'll put on your seatbelt from your left to your right. Hold on to anything you hold dear, such as hats, bags, glasses, etc. If anything is lost within the lift, it cannot be retrieved. Your time has come. Row 6, we will be starting with you. Row 6, you'll go to the back left. Row five to the back right. And hands up, hands up, high as we can, high as the sky, and say goodbye. Bye. Bye. Would anyone like to opt out? No. Yes. Yes, how unfortunate for you. I really should have taken the stairs. <laughs> So there's a sequence on this ride, and if you've been on it, you know what I'm talking about. It's one where you go right into the dark, and you hang out there for a second, and you fall straight down. And then you go all the way back up, and you go all the way back down. That's my favorite. So many big drops, your butt literally flies off the seat all the time. And it's like, I was literally like, I was like, I, was like, I felt like I was standing. <laughs> but yeah, that was a great ride on Tower of Terror. And it was, ended up being about 45, 50 minutes, so not too bad. Rise of the Resistance, we got 132, it's at 118, 70 minutes. That's not too bad, that is not too bad. I think that's gonna be the last thing we do here, though. I think what I'm gonna try and do is try my luck with the single rider entrance for Rock and Roller Coaster. The ride attendant at the front said that the single riders line could be as long as the regular line, which is 70 minutes right now. Um, I, don't, I don't know about that, that doesn't seem right. So we're gonna go ahead and try it out and see if that's actually true thing is a lot of people I don't think have picked up that single riders is back yet so this is giving people a lot of opportunities to get on the rides a little bit quicker all right Fifteen minutes until they call my group. At 5:34. Great. We're gonna head over there right now. They found the end of the line for Rise of the Resistance. All right, guys, head inside. Now go! Get out! That was so cool. And there's the next group of prisoners coming in now. We've arrived to my favorite part of Rise of the Resistance where you go and they uh, just make you feel uncomfortable and try to intimidate you uh, with them. Oh, here. Yeah, see, we're off to a great start. Right this way. Let's go this way. Over here. Silver and orange to the right. To the red. To the left. Silver 
right, we got blue, baby. Pause, okay? Make sure you get a head count because we don't want to lose anybody on the way out. Right? Yes. Those don't count as heads. Those are cameras. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, buddy. Sorry to confuse you. Okay. Take this corridor to the turbo lift. Hey, you're not authorized. Wait, then go to the prisoner. <laughs> I don't know about you guys, but I always feel like a new man every time I get off that ride, Rides of the Resistance. What a hit. What a masterpiece. And still, just as impressive. Man, it just feels like you're, feels like you're in the movie, right? Oh, buddy. Some pretty satisfying stuff, that Rise of the Resistance. Honestly, to me, that's such like a perfect topper to the day. I think we're good. I think we're good. I think I'm gonna go to Baseline Tap House, sit down, have a drink. And then that is it for my little Hollywood Studios adventure. But you know what? I will say this is a very, very successful day. I had a great time here at Hollywood Studios. Let's get a drink at Baseline. Get ready to get on out of here. Wow, it is nice and relaxed here in Baseline. You could just walk right up. This is awesome. Hey, yeah, coming to you from the Baseline Tap House. It's only like, what, 6.45 now? The park closes at 8. This place is like empty. It's so easy to grab a seat. Just walk right up and got a beer. You know, sometimes you do these vlogs. I think it's just important to do what you like, right? Do what makes you happy, do what you have the most fun. And that's exactly what I did today. I came to Hollywood Studios because it's my favorite and I like Star Wars, I rode Rise of the Resistance, I uh, rode Tower of Terror. It's good, life's good, life's great. It's always fun here at Disney World and I hope you guys had fun watching this video. That is really all I've got to say. So thank you guys for hanging out with me in this video. Thank you for watching Vincent Vision. Come to Hollywood Studios if you get the chance. <laughs> I totally recommend it. It's a great time. I hope you had fun watching this video, and I will see you guys at the next one. All right? See you around, guys. Let me drink my beer. Bye-bye.